Okay, so this sawmill here is called a brick sawmill, and we believe it's a model of 01. Uh, we operate a, another brick sawmill in the county, the Enroll Tractor Club, and that's at Kinder Farm Park. And I think that somebody told me it's Millersville, not Smyrna Park. I think that sounds right. Depends on the side of the road. Depends on the side of the road. But anyway, the brick sawmill here, the model 01, a little bit bigger than 00 we run up at Kinder Farm Park. It's powered by a General Motors engine. It's a diesel engine. It's a 471. What's unique about it is it's supercharged engine, diesel. It's a two cycle engine. So a lot of four cycle engines, which is what it's in your car for the most part, um, they have you know, four strokes. It suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Suck air, squeeze the air, bang, to blow to clear out the air. And that's a four cycle engine. This is a two cycle engine. Sucks air in, compresses it, blows, squeezes it out at the same time. Well, when they started making these, they had problems. They couldn't get enough air in them. So what do they do? This is, remember, in the 30s. They built this almost 100 years ago. They put a, a supercharger on this. So on the other side of this engine, you'll see a gear-driven supercharger, which is what people put on their hot rods today, and turbochargers. So it's forced air induction. And that's how this operates. Okay, it's a two-cycle engine. They call it the Screaming Jimmy. And you'll hear it when it runs because it makes a lot of noise. So the real question is, well, who wants a sawmill? Why do you need a sawmill? Well, in 2021, you don't really need a sawmill because you go to Home Depot and Lowe's and buy some garbage wood. But if you were a farmer in 1920 and you just bought 160 acres of land, it's all covered with trees, well, what are you going to do? Well, I need to clear my trays, I need to build a barn, I need to build a house, and Home Depot didn't exist, and Amazon didn't exist. So, you got a sawmill. And with a sawmill, you were able to take the trees, cut your trees down, and then you can make lumber for the saw, lumber for your barn, you can make lumber for your house, and you're good to go. At the same time, you cleared your fields. And once you cleared your fields, how oh, nice is that? Now you can plant your crops. So it's kind of a, it's a really good thing when you think about it. It's a good deal. But this sawmill here, um, like I said, the Antique Tractor Club, Anne Arundel County Tractor Club runs it. It's kind of unique. If you look at the blade on it, it's a 56 inch blade. We sharpened it this morning. Um, the kerf, does anybody know what the kerf is in a blade? What's kerf mean? Kerf is the thickness of the blade, okay? So the kerf on this blade is 5 sixteenths of an inch thick, all right? So, and what I've been told, and it's true, if you look at the pile of sawdust back there, if every five logs we cut, we get one log of sawdust. It's not the most efficient, but with a 160 horsepower motor on it, you'll see it, it screams and it cuts wood very, very quickly. Um, how do you get rid of the sawdust? So we, it, it's piled up down here, and you'll see this little chain driven thing. And we've had some discussion on today, it's belt driven. See the long belt up there? It goes to a differential, it's a rear differential from maybe an S10 truck, Somebody said a Toyota. I, Somebody said a Datsun. Somebody said a Datsun. I don't know. But anyway, it came out of, what's that? Model T. A Model T is what I said, but I don't know what it is. It came out of somebody's car. <clears throat> so if your car, if you can't get home today, and you're missing your rear axle, maybe look here. No, just kidding. So, and anyway, there's little scoops there. You'll see it when it's running. Uh, they scoop on the sawdust and pull it away. So the operation, the mastermind of the operation, of the actual cutting operation, is called the Sawyer. And that's Doug. And Doug here is actually, I don't know if I give him this much credit, but he's the computer behind it. He looks at the log. We gotta square up a log because before I make boards and make boards, you have to have something square. So the first part of the operation is to square up the wood. And he's gonna cut it. And then Matt and Doug, Matt's the guy there too, get to roll the log, which is physically hard to do, put the flat part against the back, cut it again, roll it again. It gets to roll it three times before we start cutting. Now, we did that at 2 o'clock today, so we're going to take a little shortcut. If you look on there, and the, the guy doing the wood carving down there informed us, these are called cants, C-A-N-T. It's a piece of lumber. It's hard to see, but you'll see it. Six inches diameter, maybe 14 inches long. And so it's a 6 by 14 inch block of wood. And you'll see it flying by there, and we're going to make fence boards out of it. So Doug's going to come up with one inch fence boards. And that's the story. Um, what am I missing, guys? Oh, the wood. All of this wood here, with the exception of the trusses, and this is what they did in the old days. All these 
Joyce is the oldest wood, came from logs from this county. So we take the logs, and you mill them up, and there you go. So we don't go to Home Depot, we don't go to Lowe's or Johnson Lumber, not to be on some good stuff. And more Hectors, that's I remember Hectors. But this is better wood because this is nice oak. We use white oak, we use poplar. We, use, we, don't, we don't really cut pine to walk it. So it's nice hard wood, we have a really nice product. And the, the, the club built this. Place. Yeah, and the club, the, the tractor club built this uh, thing, donated by a guy named Donnie Gold, who's living in Davidsonville. Um, and I think that's about all I've got to say about it, right? Right. Okay, let's start it out. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know what? Something you want to. All right, you guys ready? All right. It's going to be loud. So who, does anybody here have a diesel engine in your car or anything like that? Your daughter does. The diesel engine have glow plugs. That's how they start them up, right? This is built in the 40s. Guess what? No glow plugs. And listen to how it starts.
Thanks for watching Wayne's World Garage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Thank you.